Greetings, investigators. My name is Detective Sins, and welcome to another installment of Synopsins. Today we're covering a horror movie from 2012 titled The Battery. Watch out for spoilers, and let's get into the video. We're introduced to two former baseball players, Mickey, who enjoys listening to music, and Ben, the fearless. We're set in a post-apocalyptic zombie scenario where most of humanity have practically died. Every day, they travel from one place to another in search of food, clothing, and other necessities. They usually spend their free time playing baseball. It's their only source of joy. Well, at least for Ben, who appears to be obsessed with the sport. Mickey, on the other hand, would rather listen to music than play baseball. One day, Mickey and Ben arrived at one of the abandoned cabins in the woods. Typical. Mickey is shocked when he sees a zombie laying on the ground getting shot by Ben. Mickey says, You said they wouldn't come to the woods. I never said that, Ben responds. I just said that they'll be fewer in the woods. Ben then told Mickey to calm his tits and move on. They continue their trip from their cabin. They come across a car that appears to be usable. They approach the car slowly and prepare to shoot the zombie. Unlike the other movie we covered, this zombie seems to be decently paced, and by that I mean slower than my 2012 MacBook trying to load up Minecraft. This however begs the question why humanity was destroyed when these zombies are as slow as they are. After shooting the zombie, Ben immediately gets into the car to start the engine. As Ben sits in the car, he is disgusted by its stench. From the looks of it, I'd say the smell is somewhere between my one week old unrefrigerated froyo and my pits after refusing to bathe for 3 days. Holding his breath, Ben manages to start the car and they quickly leave the place. They arrive at Mickey's ex-girlfriend's abandoned house. Mickey discovers a CD in his girlfriend's room when he opens the drawer. He plays the CD on his CD player which he always brings with him wherever he goes. Mickey then pulls the next drawer which is stuffed with panties. He snatches two panties and kisses them. Yeah, totally normal. After getting the gas conductor and a chair, Ben waits outside for Mickey. Mickey comes with two toothbrushes and a full gallon of water. They brush their teeth right away, making me wonder how long it has been since they've properly bathed. They took a break on the house's balcony before resuming their journey. Mickey tries to persuade Ben to stay for at least one night, but Ben refuses to stay in the house. Ben is apparently traumatized by what happened at Mickey's family's house a few months prior which he had no choice but to kill Mickey's dog so they could eat. Ben doesn't want it to happen again, not that it could, therefore he only feels secure staying in the house for a short time. Mickey eventually gives up and they continue on their journey. Ben spends his time pretending to play baseball while Mickey is occupied with the walkie-talkie he discovered. After inserting a new battery in the walkie-talkie, Mickey asks Ben to try it. It seems like the walkie-talkie is working perfectly well. When they're done, voices can be heard on the walkie-talkie. They are Frank and Annie, who are supposedly a part of a group of survivors called The Orchard. They appear to be in the same channel as Mickey and Ben. They overhear Frank and Annie's discussion on the film they plan to watch this week. Mickey hasn't had any human interaction other than Ben for days. Mickey, understandably, becomes very excited and wants to talk to them, but Frank simply tells Mickey not to disturb them and to stay away from the channel. As much as I'd like to defend Mickey in this case, I'm on Frank's side on this one. Just imagine, you're in a post-apocalyptic world and have been working hard all day. The one time you get to <clears throat> Netflix and chill with your girlfriend, someone dials in and ruins the mood. I'd be pissed as well. Mickey is angry since they were just… rejected? He becomes curious about Annie's appearance. Ben becomes aware of Mickey's thoughts and begins to speculate on what is on his mind. Mickey thinks that Annie is a woman with a pixie haircut and a gun on her hip. Meanwhile, for Ben, Annie might look like a 46-year-old softball coach with calves that look like a canned meat. Ben basically tells Mickey to stop fantasizing because expectations don't always match reality. They check into one of the town's motels. This time, Ben simply waits in the car while Mickey goes to the motel on a looting spree. When Mickey opens the last room, he is surprised to find two zombies waiting for him. Mickey jumps inside the car terrified and asks Ben for assistance. Since Ben wants Mickey to be independent, 
he tells Mickey to kill the zombie. Mickey is scared shitless. Ben gave in and killed the zombie instead. They return to the woods and Mickey falls asleep in the car while Ben takes his afternoon bath in the waterfall. Mickey is completely unaware that a zombie is approaching the car. From the slightly open window, the zombie tries to reach Mickey. He is startled when he wakes up from his sleep. Not because of fear, but because of the zombie's sexiness. Without further hesitation, he quickly takes off his pants and <clears throat> do the deed. Let the record show that this movie is more degenerate than most anime I've seen, so don't come to us weebs calling us degenerates when this f***ing scene exists. Ben comes and fires his gun into the zombie's head. When Ben sees Mikey's situation, he laughs and let him continue his activities like a true bro. They check other houses and find no signs of zombies there. This time, Mickey really wants to sleep on the bed so he can feel like a human again. Ben doesn't want to argue with Mickey too much, so he agrees to spend the night at the house. Later that night, Mickey tries to contact Annie again. Annie says she will be kicked out if she was caught talking to Mickey. Annie begs Mickey not to bother her anymore and get out of their channel. The next morning, Ben finds a zombie tied up to the trees behind the house. An idea pops up. He leads the zombie into the house and puts it in Mickey's room. Mickey, surprisingly, manages to kill him and he immediately attacks Ben in annoyance. Mickey doesn't seem to be upset that Ben put zombies in his room, but because of what Annie said last night. This is the post-apocalyptic equivalent of hitting the gym after you got rejected by your crush. Mickey tells Ben what Annie said and Ben just tells him to come inside the house. As days pass, Mickey starts to forget about Annie. He spends his day with Ben going fishing and playing baseball. They're having the time of their lives until they inevitably run out of gas. When they come across an abandoned black car in the middle of the road, Ben decides to steal the gas from it. Mickey notices that the car's hood is hot, indicating that it hasn't been abandoned for long. Mickey walks to the other side of the car to check then gets held hostage by a man named Jerry. Ben grabs his pistol and points it at Jerry. They're having a heated debate. Jerry orders Ben to hand over their car key so that he may travel to Arizona. Logically, he also wouldn't be able to go to Arizona in a car that is also dying of gas. Ben gives up, lowers his pistol, and begs Jerry to release Mickey. Jerry gets inside the car right after pushing Mickey, and Ben shows the car key, which has been in his pocket the entire time. Jerry bolts into the wasteland, and Ben starts shooting at him. They are approached by a car. A woman gets out of their car. The woman tells them that Jerry was a thief, so they want to take the car back. Is it you, Annie? Mickey asks as they are about to leave. Annie fires her pistol into Ben's leg, knocking him to the ground. Annie orders them to throw their car key onto the grass plains, which will prevent them from chasing Annie. Annie leaves shortly after, and Mickey goes straight to find the car key, but he can't find it. Ben tells Mickey to look for the keys first thing in the morning the next day. Mickey awakens in the middle of the night after hearing a voice from the outside. When they turn on the car's headlights, they notice a group of zombies approaching. The zombies surround their car for days and refuse to leave them, like your crazy ex-boyfriend who keeps texting how much he misses you. They drink alcohol and play in the car to keep their sanity intact. After a few days, the food supply begins to run out and they are forced to find the car key in order to escape. Mickey volunteers to find the key. Ben pleads Mickey not to come back if he doesn't find the key. Mickey, on the other hand, claims that he will not leave Ben alone. Mickey exits the car through the sunroof, and Ben waits for him. Mickey has gone far too long, and Ben is concerned that something bad has happened to him. Mickey returns, but he's bitten by a zombie. Ben orders Mickey to get out of the car, but Mickey is terrified of becoming a zombie. Before Mickey turns into a zombie, Ben kills him. The film ends with Ben talking to the walkie-talkie threatening that he will come and kill Annie to redeem Mickey's death. With one bullet remaining, Ben decides to exit the vehicle. If he doesn't survive, he intends to shoot the bullet into his head. Ben manages to get out of the car and walk down the road, accompanied by a group of zombies. 
There are several lessons to be learned from all of this. One on top of my head is stop being a horny bitch, <gasps> bros before hoes, and to keep a gun with you at all times. The question here is how do you actually survive such a situation? Perhaps change the channels and find one where you're not connected to a bunch of pricks? You've got a walkie talkie that changes channels and you're so fixated on a girl who doesn't like you back. Man, that's toxic as shit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button down below. Subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. And ring that bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. So investigators, you are dismissed.